Hi ladies and gentlemen, in this opportunity, I will tell you about the process of making traditional pastry from Yogyakarta called Bakpia Pato. First one, here are some ingredients we need during the process of making Bakpia Pato. The whole process of making Bakpia Pato are divided in two sections such as the filling dough making and the crust dough making. Now we've come to the filling dough making with the green bean as the main ingredients. First one, the peeled green bean soaked with water for 90 minutes. Step 2, wash the green beans properly for like 2 or 3 times. We also have to make sure there is no residues in the water at the final wash. Then, turn on your stove and steam the peeled green beans for 20 minutes to cook it out. This step is a common way to soften the green beans. In addition, steaming can also prove the anti-nutrition compound in the raw green beans. Now, here you can feel the texture to make sure the green beans are cooked enough. Once you're sure that the peeled green beans are already cooked, then chop it homogeneously. Here you can see the green beans are chopped into a smaller solid and easy to shape. This kind of looks will simplify the next step. The next step is we will heat the green bean again with low heat. Then we will add some additional ingredients such as water, coconut cream, sugar, salt, and pandanus. If the additional ingredients have already put into the pan, then stir till it becomes some again and solid. Side aside and wrap it off. The final step we have cooked up, then divide it for 15 grams for each. Now we have already reached the final process of making papillas filling. So easy, isn't it? Now we need to move to the next step of making papilla pato. It's a process of making the cross stuff. As you can see, the ingredients we need here are such as flour, sugar, vegetable oil, margarine, and a cup of water. Mix the following ingredients with spatula. After the dough is solid, knead it with your hands to make sure the dough is not floury. Punch stretch and shape the dough till it gets chewy then wrap it off for several times here we have the crust dough and we need to divide it for 5 grams each the crust dough are actually divided into an A dough and a B dough which is optional because it only a step to add another crust layer to cover the papillas filling. As you can see, the filling are being covered up with the crust dough and this step must have to be done carefully. Now we reach the final process of making papilla pato. The raw papilla were put into the pan and it will be baked for at least 15 minutes till the crusts are changed color on every side. Finally, our handmade papilla is ready to serve. Papilla has a unique texture which is crunchy on the crust and chewy on the filling. Thank you for your attention to watch this traditional food making video. I am sorry if there is so much wrong pronunciation and if I made a lot of mistakes. Good luck everyone!